but but the verse is very clear my friend it says it was an us collecting it and reciting it but all of us we knew that Allah never recite the Quran and he never collect the Quran so it's a verse speaking of a lie no the verse speaks like something like it that it is on us to preserve it okay for us for us for us I have a guy in the in the in the chat his name nightmare this guy from Morocco maybe he can do better jo job than you do you think we can ask him to call and help you? He can join us in the conference. What do you think? I my the topics of my specialties are on Bible. The my knowledge you're of Bible is you're a specialty exactly. in the Bible, but you know nothing about your Quran. You know nothing about your religion, but you're a specialty in the Bible. That's because the Christians often claim that because the Muslims read the Quran, so they compare you know, my friend, the you know, what you're a okay. Okay. Listen, Bible listen, listen. Message, as long as you're a specialty. As long as your specialty about the Bible, I want to ask you a very simple question. What the word Isa mean? Who? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Isa. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Guy from the word Yeshua. Is coming from what? This is original name was Yeshua when I was converted to. No, I can't make it into Arabic. It became Isa. Ah, translated into Arabic. No, I am an Arab guy. In Arabic, we don't say. Isa, we say Yeshua. This is coming from Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeshua in Arabic, we say Yeshua. There's no Isa. Because I'm asking you now, as long as you are Mr. Specialty, Mr. Specialty, Mr. Specialty, you do not know what Isa mean. You do not know what Muhammad mean. You do not know what Allah mean. You do not know what the word Injil mean. You do not know about the goat. You do not know why Allah did not preserve the Quran. But yet your specialty is the Bible. Yeah. So far, the topic of debate is on Quran. You are asking questions. I'm not asking a question. I'm trying to learn about your specialty. I, until now, I, I did not ask you about Islam because supposedly the Injil is the book of Allah and this is the book of Isa and this is the Bible, supposedly. So, why you are not how come, how not come not your specialty? How come your specialty about the Bible, but yet you do not know anything about the Bible of Allah? Hello? 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 Yes, I'm asking you, how come you say yeah. you claim that your specialty is the Bible, but yet when I ask you about the Bible of Allah, you know you have no idea. I'm talking about the Bible which Christians believe about. But there is nothing about that the Bible the Christians believe in that, that according to you, Muslims, <laughs> the true Bible is the Bible of Allah, and you are telling me it's gone. So how you know that the Christian book is not a true if your book have no proof of anything? You don't even have one page of the true Bible. Do you have one page of the true Bible? But I have proved that the your, even your Bible is in the word of God. No, no, listen, I'm asking you. Do you have a proof? Do you have any reference of one page of your book, Allah, the book of Allah, the Bible, the true Bible? Now you, now you tell me what, when was the Bible written? What, what? When was the Bible written? The first copy of the New Testament, first book of the New Testament. I don't understand. Say again, say, speak slowly. When was the first book of uh, New Testament, the Gospel of Mark? When was it written? Uh, I don't know. Somebody genius like you, he told me it's written 2000 years after Jesus. I am asking about you. I'm asking uh, you too. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. But based on your knowledge, when the first time the, the Bible was written? Hello, can you you know, why you don't get that girl speak to me because it looks like she is the one who have a brain and you don't even have a brain let her, let her speak to me hello let, let the girl who is helping you there look like she is the one who is telling you what to say let your mom talk to oh. me is that your mom or your wife or one of your wives no she is my wife she is helping me she is what she's your wife no, no, she is my mother. She is just. Uh, she is your mother. Like okay, it. okay. Sit, sit down. Sit down. Kid, kid. Listen, listen. Let me talk to your mom, okay? Uh, because she is the no, one. She I, is the one is telling you what to say. Come on, let her talk to me. Come on. Uh, um, uh, I will speak to her with respect. Trust me. Uh, mother, I will call her mother too. Will she like my? I will treat her like my mother. Come, take the mic, please. Take the mic. Take the mic. Speak. To, speak to us. What do you want to say to us, lady? Right now, she is missing. Call it in talking over phone. Please, okay, I want to ask you. I want to ask you a question to ask your mother. 
that your prophet said that the most of people of hell are women what she say about okay. that do you think that your mother she will go to hell when the dajjal or antichrist will come women will be come women mostly women will believe in him okay just hold on hold on hold on hold on did you say the did you say the antichrist yeah guys the dajjal uh, guys did you hear did you hear this did you hear it unbelievable this guy he just said the antichrist is the antichrist is a devil yes dajjal yes is, is he the devil hello is the antichrist is he's the devil who is the antichrist yeah, who is he? I'm asking you, is he the devil? Is he shaitan? No, no, he's not a shaitan. He's born. He's, he's born a Jew. He's what? He's what? The Antichrist, he's what? The Antichrist is the Antichrist. The opposite of Christ. Why, why he is he coming? Who is this Antichrist? I'm asking you, who is his, is he? Who is he? You, you just said to me, and he hasn't won yet. Who is he? He has been born yet. And I'm not asking you this. I'm not asking you who what his name. I know, I know, I know, my friend. I'm asking you, what what is he? Who, like what this guy is a human? Is he a human? Yes, he's a human. Who told you that? Hadith. Hadith says that. Where it says that? So Hadith, we can explicitly says that he will be a human. Okay, hold but on. We know that he's no, born no, from no. A hold human. on, hold on, hold on, hold and on. Listen. Hold on, my friend, you are wrong. Your prophet says something else. Yes. Okay. If we go in the hadith, we will find that your prophet saying that the Antichrist. Uh, ah, he has already been born. The Antichrist. I'm not asking if he's born or not, my friend. I'm asking you: Is he a human or he is not a human? He is going to be a human. He is going to be a human. All right. Look at this. He will look like a human, but is he a human? He'll not have a one. He'll be blind from one eye. Ah, he have one eye. How many eyes your God have? No, no, he'll not have one. He'll be blind from one eye. And I, he'll only I, I, one. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. You just said he have one eye. How many eyes your God have? Two. Two. Yes. Why not three? Because he's human appearance. What? I mean, how you can see good with two eyes only? Guess how God chose to make us. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. If Allah have two eyes and they are located where? Like one in the front and one in the back? Or both of them in the front? What are in the front? Two of them in the front. Okay. So how Allah can see me if I am behind him? Allah doesn't require guys to see. Well, he you, has he, you just said he have two eyes. That's mean he have two eyes. He see by eyes. What eyes for? Have you ever heard of somebody? He have eyes to hear from them. No eyes is to see with. So Allah have two eyes, and they are in his face, in the front of his face. So if somebody is no, behind him, how, how Allah can see him? Hello. Yeah. How Allah can see him if somebody is standing behind Allah? He is in his knowledge because of his what knowledge. What knowledge? He has eyes, my, friend. my friend, what knowledge? What knowledge? Allah have no knowledge. Read with me, carefully, please. The Prophet said, huh? The Prophet said that I have told yes. you so much about you can read in the screen, please, in YouTube if you want. I told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist. This is your Muslim translation, not my translation. I that I am afraid you may not understand. The Antichrist is short. Okay, he is hinted, woolly haired, one eyed, and eye is sightless, and neither protruding uh, nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. So, what is the difference between the Antichrist and Allah? One thing. And here he is talking about the Christ because Christians believe that uh, no, 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 those, those are those are not the Christian, those are Muslims. The one is talking is Muhammad and the listeners are Muslims. Don't tell me the Christian, the Christian. Yeah. He is saying to God, no, 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 we don't believe. We don't believe that there's a guy, his name is a Dajjal anyway. We don't believe that he is uh is uh, he have a is he's a blind in the blind in the right eye. This is this is a joke. We don't believe in this garbage. So don't tell me he's uh, the Christians say no. We don't say we don't believe in this garbage at all. We don't believe in it. 
Now I'm asking you why, why Muhammad why Muhammad saying that you Muslims might be confused about the look of Allah and the look of the Dajjal and the Dajjal how we can recognize which one is Allah and which one is the Antichrist it's just the right eye but you just no, say, you say, but you just say, you say, I ask you, Fazar, 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 I asked you, is that the judge is a human? You said yes. So why your prophet comparing between a human and your God? And the compare, comparing is by the look. And reason you compare Jesus with God. This is not, this is not about Jesus now. I'm not talking about your prophet. Forget about Jesus. This is, Jesus is not there. In this hadith, Jesus is not there. This is the anti-Jesus and Allah. Why Muhammad so, comparing between like, listen? Why Muhammad like, comparing? Let me talk to your mom. Uh, honestly, I will let your mom spank you right now for not answering the question. If you don't answer it, why Muhammad comparing between the look of the Antichrist and the look of Allah? So guess people may not uh, think because he'll be able to do miracles, many mysterious things that are beyond No human problem, human but this is not the question. I do miracle, but it doesn't mean I it might look like the same as Allah. Allah is Allah and me as me. I'm a human. You, do Allah look like a human? Yes or no? No. So why we need to compare to tell them? Don't be confused. What the confused will be? He is a human. He should say, well, Allah is not a human. This guy is a human. So don't be confused. Okay, that's good. That's enough. But why he's saying that the only difference between Allah and this guy is the one eye. The same is because even you have both said that Allah, God has got no form, no Listen, 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 listen. The question is very simple. If you Muslims don't believe that Allah is a human, how Muhammad is saying the only difference between this human and Allah is only one eye? Now you tell me that, do you believe that God has got any shape? Have what? Do your God has any shape? No, he don't have any shape. No. Do you have a shape? Do your God have a shape? Do your God have a shape? I, uh, you ask me a question, I answer you. No, he don't have no, a shape. No, no. My God, my God, my God, my God, is, my God is a spirit, Holy Spirit. Is your God is a spirit? Yeah, can you please be? Your God is a spirit? Allah is uncreated. I'm not asking you this question. Please, you know, please, Abdul. Is Allah a spirit or not? Is he spirit? <laughs> who is the donkey who told you that Allah is a spirit? Give me his name. I am not saying that Allah is a spirit. What? 